Hey guys, Dusty Baker, Cross Simmers Bison. Welcome back to our channel. Thank you for watching. Got our boy back here. Oh, Lumpy. Lumpy's looking pretty good. He's walking with a little limp. I'm not sure if that has something to do with his hurting or not, but there is a couple of things I wanna let you know about. One, Lumpy is going to the vet clinic. A clinic at Oklahoma State. I'm gonna bring you guys along on that journey uh, with Lumpy and I, but he's going to the vet and he is going to get an ultrasound on his hernia. That's the very first step in the process with Lumpy on just seeing if this is even possible to do a surgery on Lumpy. So it should be interesting. I'm not sure what they're gonna see, if they like it or not, but he's doing okay. He's hanging out here in here with the yearling bulls. He is a low man on totem pole, but there's a good shot of the hernia there, but. He shed his winter coat, which is great. That means that there is some healthiness going on. The hernia is not healthy, of course, but if they do shed those coats completely, um, then that's a good sign that he's, everything inside is at least working, as far as I know. That's what I've learned. Get to follow us along for a trip to Oklahoma State, my home away from home, my alma mater. We're gonna go up there and they're gonna do ultrasound aim and then we'll go from there. So we'll keep you updated with that. Just wanna let you know, we are making some efforts for Lumpy. What are we gonna do with him? I don't know, to be honest with you. We'll just, we'll let you know. So I was down in the pasture here not too long ago and uh, one of our big water tanks with the big herd, big Joe herd. I've been spending time with them as you can tell a couple of my past videos. And then I noticed what I did was I put a barley bag in there. I stopped at the feed store not too long ago and they actually had these big barley bags in there and it's a live stock water tank treatment and I've heard these are the best and if, if you guys remember what Brooks and I did and my wife we did some water treatment test on all three of our tanks we did a fish those guys I think the heat from the Oklahoma summer got the best of those fish I looked in the other day and I didn't see any left so fish may not made it um, it's just too hot down here and then we also put the tablet here now this is the same water tank where the yearlings heifers they were actually in here now they're over there they were here and they kept getting in the water matter of fact all of them kept getting the water we got some rain though by the way check that out it's good but um they kept getting in the water being knuckleheads you know how they are you know how they can be well i bought two of these barley bags is my point and i didn't show you putting this one in there because i just kind of want to test it on my own well come to find out it actually worked really well i kind of put it in there and forgot about it and when i was down there i looked into it and i could see the bottom of the tank it's the first time i've ever seen the bottom of that water tank uh since i put water in it for the very first time i was like heck yeah so if there's another dirtier tank out of the two that we have it treated left it's this one because the jack wagons get into it so i'm going to actually put this in there because it did so well down yonder where the big joe herd is so i'm um, we're going to put this in here right now and see how it goes so i've got some string i've got to wrap some string around some weight to actually sink it down in there is what you have to do so i'm just going to find a good old-fashioned rock to sink down in there but here's our barley kind of comes in its own bag wrapped here but you basically take the barley put it in this bag oh in there there we go string it up here. can't trust these yearlings there you go that must get oh dang that was that heavy plenty heavy Had to do a little extra reinforcement on it. I had to put some weight on it. These tanks aren't that deep. So I tried to sink it and pull it down, but I had to put that other, other rock on top of it. So 
I want to go show you the difference between the tank that's already had this barley bag in it for about three weeks. Let's go take a look at it. You guys probably can't see this as good as me, but just down here checking the herd again, the Big Joe herd. Now they've been rolling in the mud since we got some rain, which is good, but the flies are not near as bad as the last time I came down here. Even though we've got some rain, it still is not near as bad. There were hordes, of, hordes on them over the bison. They still have some. I'm not saying they don't have any, but there are less. Looks like I'll have to put some more diatomaceous earth on, especially after it rained. <laughs> but at least I uh, hope they got some of it on them. We can always apply more. Okay, we're down here in the Big Joe pastures. Got the big herd right here, we're always checking, but here is what we got. Our barley bag, I didn't have anything to sink it with last time I was down here, so. But I wanna, what I want you to notice is the moss really like growing around this thing. Uh, now don't get me wrong, this is, don't get me wrong this is not near as clean as it was the other day i came down here that rain must have got it stirred up some i'm sure it did the other day i came down here i could see straight through the bottom they may have been in it sometime today to get it a little murky but it is cleaner definitely than that tank up there that we just looked at but this barley bag just really kind of you can see all that yeah I'm gonna try to find a way to sink this and keep it down in there. I don't know how long these last or how long you keep them in there. I need to read up a little more on the package. Here comes Eleanor. You've been in the mud. Well, don't have to pants. What's up, big guy? Hey, you guys share. Are you on too, Bell Star? So I literally just checked this with the Big Joe herd the other day. Take a look at this. This was four days ago. And then I know it's rained since then, and I do have a drain hole in this old trough here, but there was a whole lot more mineral here, and I know some of it's going to come out on the ground after rain and whatnot, but that, there's a whole bunch of mineral missing. The flies are still lingering. You can see they're not as bad, though, which is good. That hopefully have some positive signs here from... Either there's some, she still has some on her, but even though it rained, we should have a lot more, but hopefully this is open. Hopefully the diatomaceous earth helped and the prolate lentox spray that we were using. So you guys are probably wondering, what are we gonna do with these calves? We've got a total of seven calves here. We've got five heifers and we've got two bulls, which is, great that i, I kind of like that ratio to be honest with you and the reason why is if you guys don't already know we want to grow the herd that's one of my main goals is to grow the herd and the best way to do that is with females of course so we're going to keep our heifer calves for sure we don't know what we'll do with our bulls here's the thing and i get this question quite a bit you know what are you going to do with these calves what are you going to do with the bulls well we like we want to see what these bulls look like when they 
get older. Remember, you've got time. The, these are not like cattle. You, we don't have steers in the bison world. So you don't castrate bison. And what we do is, at two years old, you make a decision. One, you can slaughter them because they're in that primal weight, which is 1,000 to 1,200 pounds is that primal weight when you go to slaughter an animal for meat. And then two, they start to breed at two years old. So you've got two years to really make a decision what you want to do with these calves. And we like to take our time with that. We like to see how these boys grow up. If somebody comes along and wants to purchase some calves, that's fine. We can sell calves. But, you know, until then, we're going to keep them and, and see how things go and see how they look. But we're going to, we're happy to keep these heifer calves and, and, and basically grow the herd. That's the best way to, to grow the herd. So, <laughs> more rolling. And, and it's, the fun part is, is as the calves get older, you really, how you kind of know what they're going to look like or you hope to, what they look like is their mom's traits. They try to take after their mother's traits typically. And so whatever mom looks like is what the baby should look like. And we've got some really good mamas here. And we hope that some of these mamas that had heifer calves turn out like that as well. And you just keep the cycle going. Now, these are Dunbar babies. These are not big joe babies and some of you are thinking well once they get old enough can they breed back to dunbar yes that's possible you can but most people don't like to do that because they have bigger herds and uh, you have multiple bulls in your herd or your pasture we don't do that to keep them separated dunbar and big joe but big joe in two years will be able to breed these calves these heifer calves that are out here so if that's something that we're doing, if Big Joe is still out here with this plan or whatever goes on, he can breed these heifer calves in two years. Look who's being nosy, as always. So some of you guys from uh, one of my previous videos uh, giving Eleanor a little bit of extra bit of attention. Um, some of you said, well, put her in another herd. You, you don't like bullies, you know, move her where she can't get hurt or beat around. She's actually been treated fairly well. I haven't really seen the big bunch push her around very much from what I saw. I'm not saying that that doesn't happen. However, she is the low man on totem pole. And if I did move her into with the Big Joe herd, there's a feisty mama cow up there and her name is Kit. And if you guys think that she won't be kicked around up there, you're wrong. Kit is very feisty. She's probably my feistiest cow now. So Eleanor, it's a good thing she's down here. She can, she can roam around she can get her distance and if she comes in heat that's great which is what we want but we want her to have distance we want her to be out here and be able to graze and whatnot that's the important thing hey guys just a lot of updates and check-ins with the water tank the minerals the flies see how our diatomaceous earth did then it rains so and our spray did seems like it's doing okay even though we had some rain there's not near as many flies as there has been and checking up on the calves what are we doing with our 2021 calves this is the biggest crop of calves we've had this year uh seven we started off with two in my my second year and then we've just grown since then so that's exciting and we just hope to continue that trend and keep growing which is fun and one of the main goals here across Denver's bison is grow the herd these are four yearling heifers that we got separated and I put in here. Just like these guys, next summer, hopefully by this time, they'll be coming in heat and we'll be able to breed, which is really exciting because hopefully, whether they'll be with Big Joe or with Dunbar, you've got four more heifers right here 
that can hopefully and will breed next year, which means we could possibly have Dakota, my other one, and Eleanor having babies. You're looking at a total of 13 babies possibly. That's possible, that's 100% calving rate right there if all the females had their calves. So who knows, that's what we want. That's what everybody wants. Thank you guys for watching us. Dunbar is doing great. He's hanging out up here with his females. I did put some diatomaceous earth out on his wallows too as well. Stay tuned, Got uh, we're taking Lumpy to the vet. I'm gonna bring you along just reminding you about Lumpy, we're going to take him a on a trip to Oklahoma State, my alma mater, and to see what we can do. And I'm kind of anxious to get in there and let them put that on him, that ultrasound on him, just to see if it's possible and see how bad the damage really is. It's a step. We don't know what the result will be, but it's a step somewhere. So I'll bring you along with that. Thank you guys for watching us.